Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Pokey Gems Art. Guys, another easy, simple, step-by-step -step tutorial. Check out this awesome 3D geometric heart. It literally looks like it's cracked up, like it's coming off the paper. But guys, before we get started, before I give you instructions, please hit that thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. Turn on your notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future videos. All right, guys, this one we are starting with a regular piece of paper and a pencil. Guys, what you're going to do first is you're going to draw a basic heart shape. Now, it really doesn't matter what kind. Kind of keep it a nice, big, poofy heart. Guys, this is just a basic sketch. If you're not, you know, if you don't like the way it looks, erase, go back and forth. Make it look halfway decent. I played with mine a little bit. Um, this is my heart, guys. So just a basic, simple heart made on a piece of paper with pencil guys that is the first step all right guys once we do that you're going to take a ruler and you're going to draw a line on one side straight down and basically almost make a second line kind of like a quarter inch or eighth inch off maybe a half a centimeter and then the second line you're going to do the same thing but you're going to come down only to about half the third line, you're going to do the same thing as the second one. You're going to come down exactly the same, about a half or so. And then the last line, kind of like the first one, you're going to go across the entire line here. Like that. All right. Once you're done with that, guys, you can look at it. Um, if you think it's a little bit off, then fix it. Uh, you see I had to fix mine here. There we go. That's the basic shape right here. Next thing you're going to do, guys, is you're going to draw a circle on the ends of the three lines, just like so. So it's basically going to look like the lines are kind of ending in a little circle. All right, next thing you're going to do is on this line, you're going to make a little angle. You're going to make a little angle on all of these lines here because you guys are going to see later, once we erase, these are going to look like the heart is cracked, like it's cracked into a few pieces, and this is going to give us that that optical illusion. All right, guys, next thing we're going to do is on the left side, we're going to come out because we want this heart to look 3D. We want it to look like it's poofy, like it's coming off the paper. So you're basically going to create another line about the same thickness from the top to the bottom, like so, so that later, like I said, once we trace it, it looks like it comes off. Then this last crack come straight down like that. So that's your basic shape and design. All right, guys, the next part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed up the film a little bit here, but you're going to go over it all with a marker. So basically everything that you did with pencil, once you're happy with it, go over it with a marker, and then everything that's left over later, we will erase, guys. This is why I always start with pencil. I always teach you guys, always, almost always start with pencil because you can always erase, you can always fix, and then once you kind of go back and you're happy with what you did, you know, then you can go over it with a permanent dark marker. So there's the basic shape right there. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is start our shading. Now, this is one of the most important parts of the drawing because this is where it's really going to look like it's coming off the paper. So on that 3D part on the left, as you notice, I started off really dark on top and then just a little bit lighter going down. Guys, I used my charcoal pencil. You can use that. Feel free to use a regular pencil or even a, a black or a dark um, colored pencil. Uh, and then I, sh I faded it, uh, so I smudged it a little bit, and I'm going to put some of that smudging all over the entire heart just to kind of make it look like there's a shadow all over it, guys. So you see here, I'm just using kind of the leftover smudge just to kind of go over a little bit. All right, now in those inside cracks that we drew in the beginning, you're going to put a dark color inside there. You can use marker. You can go ahead and use that same charcoal pencil. You can use a regular pencil. You can even use a dark black crayon, but you're going to color those in fairly dark all the way in from the top to the bottom, just like so. All right, guys, the next step, what we're going to do is we are going to make a shadow on one side. So picture almost like the heart coming down and you're going to make a shadow um, again, you're going to make it a little bit graded, which means that you're going to start a little bit darker on the inside and then work your way out into a little bit lighter. Guys, uh, I'm doing my video a little bit quicker, but feel free to take your time on this. Go over it a few times until you find that it's perfect. So basically what you do is put that charcoal pencil down, do it, smudge it a little bit, 
come back again if you're not happy like I'm doing here, making it just a little bit darker. I, I really want this, this shadow to come off very dark at the end when it's really coming off the paper there. So go ahead and play with that. Do that a couple times until you're happy with that. Smudge it just a little bit more. All right, guys. The next step, what we're going to do, like I said, you can erase. The charcoal pencil erases nicely. So basically anywhere that that shading, that pencil is coming off that you're not happy with it, go ahead and erase those parts there. Guys, the other thing that I always teach you guys is be careful when you're getting rid of those pencil shavings. Either blow them off or use a dry brush because, you know, you can, you can, uh, you can put smudges on it where you don't want them. All right, the next step is we need to cut our shape out. So basically, you're going to draw a straight line here. You're going to draw another straight line on this side here, guys. These are going to be our guidelines where we cut it. And then basically one across the bottom and then a fourth final line across the top, kind of ending it at the middle of the heart there. So guys, if you're looking at it, go ahead and pause the paper right here if you need to. Pause the video because this is where you're going to cut it. Now, guys, keep in mind when you cut, if you are a child, ask a parent maybe to cut this out or ask someone if you can use scissors. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video, not to waste your time on the cutting, but you're going to go ahead and cut it out right here. Guys, if you do like this video, check out this other video that just showed up in your corner here. Come back and check this out. This is another awesome geometric illusion, guys. I do these illusions. I make these drawings. I make them really easy, guys, for you. Um, that way they can really, really look very realistic like they're coming off the paper. All right, so you're going to cut here. Cut all the lines across right here, guys. And pretty much we're almost done, guys. Look how simple that was. In the beginning, that looked complicated. But look how simple, guys. Put that on your other background here, maybe a blue or different background. Move the camera away. It really looks like it's popping off the page. Guys, if you like that video, Simple Materials, please don't forget to subscribe to my TikTok Instagram and Facebook. I do post pictures there every single day. Check out the website, pokegems.com. You can get my swag, get my merchandise, guys, other information. And if you haven't done so, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notifications, and I'll see you on the next one.